Now, here at home, utility crews are still working to restore power to people around the state following Monday's storms. Right now, there are a little under 4,200 outages statewide. Most of those are outside the metro area. Down trees are to blame for many of those outages. Fox 5's Portia Bruner joins us live in Lilburn with more on homeowners' concerns about troubled trees in their own backyard. Good afternoon, Portia. Good afternoon, Karen. I can tell you what's going on behind us is what's going on all over metro Atlanta. These trees coming down, some that were on homes, some that belonged to homeowners who were just really nervous about the tree's condition. Perhaps the trunk that looked a little weak, looked a little decayed, and just really seemed like it was time for that tree to go. As tree cutting professionals take down this 85 foot pine, one huge branch at a time, Dwight Stevens is breathing a sigh of relief. The disease infested trunk has had Stevens worried the tree would soon collapse. But over the years, it's gotten progressively worse. So, in the storms, you know, when you get the heavy rains that's and the when winds, we, that's when we worry about this one coming down. Ironically, it's not the tree that gave way under the fury of Mother Nature Monday night. It was the smaller pine with signs of decay that Stevens had never even noticed. And that shows you just how, how rotten it, the decay it was. Is. That's exactly right. But you had no idea. I had no idea because it, it was below grade, so I had no idea. And so this lets me know that I need to have all of them inspected. And in fact, Mr. Stevens did have the other trees in his backyard inspected by Donnie Jones. She is a certified arborist who owns Don's Tree Service. And tell us, what did you find just on this tree in particular here? Okay. Well, upon first looking at it, it didn't look like anything was going on right here. But if you pull back this tree, you'll see where it's starting to decay right here from right up here all the way down the side. And that's decay. That's disease. Yes, it is the disease. Yes. And then coming to the other side, you can see where it's already starting to rotting. And you were showing okay, me earlier yeah. the con told exactly. you this was you can see what, trouble. The, absolutely, you can see where insects have eaten into the wood. The wood is kind of breaking and splitting, and it's very soft. And that continues on throughout the tree, and eventually, all the way it'll up get the it'll, exactly. Too. It goes all the way up the tree. So this is disease that's been evolving really over years, over apparently. Years. And, and that's a comment that we get from customers a lot of times. They're like, "Well, this tree's been like this for years. Well, it gets worse slowly but surely, and then one day you have a situation like." Mr. Stevens had earlier. And what are some other obvious signs of trouble? I know you've told me uh, mushrooms. That's right. Um, you'll see, now in this particular case, there weren't mushrooms, but in some trees, you'll see mushrooms, you'll see um, conks, you'll see uh, splitting, you'll see maybe cavities in the tree. Insect damage is a very good indicator that there's a problem with the tree. And the bottom line, that's when it's, it's time to probably have an arborist come out and take Absolutely. a look at your home and determine if this tree needs to come down immediately. Exactly. That's, that's true. What I always tell people is, um, if you can't have someone come out and take a look at your trees every season, spring, summer, winter, or fall, just have an arborist come out, take a look at the trees, and make sure they're healthy. All you know. Right. All right. So. Thank you so much, Donnie Jones with Don's Tree Service. We're reporting live in Lilburn now, but I tell you, we're going to actually follow the crews from Don's Tree Service around town and take a look at some other troubled spots to give you a better sense of what you should be looking for in your backyard. That's coming up tonight on Fox 5 News at 5 and 6. Reporting live from Gwinnett County, Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. That's good information, Portia. Thank you.